Okay, I thought I would start this video out um, with not knowing what I'm doing. Because pretty much that's how I start every project. Unless I have something like that little lamp that I done in the last video. I knew exactly what I wanted to do to it. That was easy. And I have these farm animal stamps from IOD and the molds. And I want to use them. I've never used them. And my husband brought me home some wood pieces, so if I bring those in here, I'll bring a piece of it and look at that. And then I have some frames, and now I'm trying to figure out just what I'm going to do with it. I know I can stamp on wood, but what's it going to look like? I don't know. But I'm going to get started and try to figure out how to put this together and make something. Okay, I've kind of figured out what I'm going to try to do. Um, my little pig mold will fit in this frame. And then I have the cow and the sheep. And they'll both fit in the 5x7s. And I don't want to wait on uh, the clay to dry. So I have some of that amazing resin that I've never used. So, I think that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to pour these three things with the uh, Amazing Resin. Okay, I went to get my resin, and I remember I had this uh, resin creep that I used once before, a couple times. And I'm going to use it. It sets up within 10 minutes, so I can pour it and let it set just a little bit, and then I'm going to set this aside. I did put it under a piece of glass that I took out of a frame so it's level and I can pick it up and move it without doing this. I actually thought ahead. What do you know? Okay. So I think you fix, mix this up by using how oh, is it? Three to one? I'm going to try that. I think that's what it is. Like three... of these scoops or is it two to one? Oh well I don't know how much I'm going to need so I'm going to do three of them and I pretty much know I think the consistency it's supposed to be there's two there's three Now, I've got some water here. I'm going to try one scoop first, or one scoopful of the water. Let's see how that works. You don't have a long time to work with this. you got to get it stirred up and use, use it. I hope that's not too runny. Come on, stir up good. See it down on the bottom. Make sure there's no lumps. And I've got it all out of the... bottom. I think that's looking good. Let's see what I get out of it. I need a paper towel. Of course. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on the water before I spill it. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm gonna see how this works. Probably gonna have to mix up more. Okay, 
and put some in the tail very carefully. The legs. Well, it kind of spilt over. That's okay. It'll just clear off when it's done. I well, need a little more in the tail area. Let's feel a little bit in the middle. Okay, I don't know if I have enough to do anything else with. Maybe we can do one of these. Might as well use it up. Whoa. Ooh, I went way over. It's okay. Now, there's not enough to do anything else with. So, I'm going to go rinse this little tiny bit out. And I figured out it's probably going to take another three scoops to do this one. And probably two for that one. Well, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to worry about this one. I'm going to do it. Mix up another three scoops with a scoop of water. Okay, I what I did with this batch is I put five scoops of the powder and one and a half scoops of water. This is kind of like a plaster Paris, but it dries a lot heavier. It's heavier in weight and stronger once it's fully cured. And I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Making sure I got all the bottom good. I do believe we're good and smooth. It poured it outside it. Ah. Make sure I get that in my legs good because I don't want them to be weak. Okay. I get everything. A little bit more up here by the head. I think that's good. Okay. Hope I have enough to do the pig. I don't know if I'm going to or not. Looks like it was just right. Pretty much just right. Except I'm running over. I had a little bit too much. There's a Kit Kat here. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Well, go ahead and scrape that off. It'll just break off. Okay. Now, I am going to set this aside. 
clean up my mess and move on and figure out what I'm going to do with the frames. Okay, I just haven't even really got started on my frames yet. I had to fill these cracks in on this one and I've sanded them in a little bit, but I think these are ready. Got to be careful to come out. I made a mess because I tried to, oh, they're coming out. Oh, I broke the leg. Darn it. And that has to be my fault because I've done this stuff before and I'm gonna have to clean him up. I'll put his legs back on. I'm going to set him right there and he's not really Okay, let's take those out. I'm gonna have to definitely be cleaned up because I poured some of them too full. And I broke the sheep legs too. How do you get those out of there without breaking them? I know if I'd have used the resin, that wouldn't happen, but that's all take care of it. I don't want to chip those anyway because I can put those back on. Is it that thin right in there? Well, I'm going to just leave that for a minute. See if I can get... I broke... See, it's the way I'm bending it. Please don't break. Please don't break. I've done some little bitty chickens with this stuff, and it was a lot thinner than this. I have to clean that all up. But I'm going to let them dry really well before I mess with them. I can get those back on there fine. But your little leg there, is that it? Oh, one cow leg. Because after I laid them down, I started trying to add a little bit of resin that I had left. I don't know which goes to which. That has to go on that one. Turn. that? I lost a leg. Cow, sheep, and a pig, huh? Oh, there's a leg, yep. And don't ask me what I'm doing, because I don't know. Well, whatever you're doing looks good. <laughs> I don't know. You're studying. Okay. I'm going to set those aside and let them dry, and then I'll clean them up and put their legs back on. Okay, I have decided to paint all my frames. Oh, I thought I was thinking I had these all out. In uh, Dixie Bell drop cloth is what I'm going to use. And I did sand my frames down a bit. Let's see. I, I am so glad I have my old clothes on because I am <laughs> dropping paint everywhere while I go. All over me. Well, actually, I have my good sweatshirt on. I need to go. I dropped it on my legs, the paint. I took the piece, that foam piece they have on top of there. When I lifted up my stir toilet and trash, it just dripped all over me. I'm going to go here in a second, put on a apron I have hanging over there so I don't... Actually, I'm going to go change my sweatshirt because I like this one. It's soft and comfortable. And I don't want to ruin it. Because most of my clothes are ruined. Either from grease splatters in the kitchen cooking or paint in here. 
because I am not neat. All right, what I'm going to do is just finish painting all these up with this drop cloth by Dixie Bell. And let them, I'll have to give them two coats and let them dry. And then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do with the molds, where I'm going with them. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking. Okay, so I'm going to use this fabric that I, it's a muslin, and I got it from burlapfabric.com. Uh, it's, it's stiffer. It's, it's just good muslin, unlike the stuff I bought from Walmart that said muslin. I don't know, a long time ago, well, quite a few times I've said they don't make muslin like they used to, like I've remembered. Well, this is a nice heavy duty. It's not just limp and real. It's thin, but it's, it's, it has a texture to it. I mean, it is nice, but I got that at burlapfabric.com and I'm going to, I think that's what I'm going to put my molds on. So I'm just tracing these out, tracing it off and going to cut them out. And I don't know if I'm going to grunge them up or not. I haven't decided yet, so, but I wanted to let you know what I was doing with this. I have decided to uh, use my coffee, my instant coffee and water. I didn't stir up. I had to put some more coffee in it, so I might get a little bit of the cinnamon, but I didn't want to get the cinnamon stirred up. It's still sitting on the bottom. But I need to get get this done so this can be drying. If it was warmer outside, I'd stick them out there, but it isn't so. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to coffee dye the muslin. Okay, I have these ready to paint and I'm going to do them in the drop the Dixie Bell drop cloth also and just give them one coat probably that's all they'll need and it's going to be a little bit because my drop cloth has got to dry and it's still got, it's pretty wet. So I'm going to have to figure out something, some way to get it to dry faster. I had my little heater on, but when I started to go back and video, I didn't want that running and having a roar in the background because I usually forget it and I usually have a roar in the background. So probably what I'll do with this is I'll let them dry and then I'll put a clear coat of wax on them and then go over it with a dark wax and then wipe it back some. So I'm gonna give these all a good coat. All right, these are dry now. Uh, I'm gonna break them. I'm going to go over these in the DIY clear wax. Ooh. And the reason I'm putting the clear wax on it is so, boy. My uh, cow doesn't turn dark brown when I put the, because it would that paint would absorb the dark wax pretty fast. So I'm going to coat every one of these with the clear. And then I'm going to come back and put the, uh, I think I'm going to use the 
folk art antiquing wax. All right, I'm ready to go over it with this, this wax, the folk art. Let's see how this turns out. Because I don't know. I need to get down in there between the legs. I should have put some gloves on. Oh no, I shouldn't have put any gloves on. Look at my hands. I'm not worried about it, obviously. Anxious to see how the sheep looks because it has a lot of texture. I have to get down between the little legs and I don't want to break it off. Maybe I need a little more on my brush to get down in there. Around the little tail, around the sides, the belly. Down in between there. Okay, I'm ready to wipe it back now. See how it looks. I'm going to kind of leave it around the edges. Right, I like the way that looks. That's cute. That turned out really good. Let's do the sheep. See how it looks. That back there. Let me show you that right fast. I like the way that looks. My friend Sheila that I met here in Cal or here on YouTube lives in California. And I mentioned to her a long time ago that I wanted the uh, farm animal set from IOD. What is it called? Village Market? Yeah, these molds. I think that's what she we was talking about. It was the stamps or the mold. I think it was the molds. I don't remember, but she said if we lived closer, we could share stuff. Yeah, I think Oklahoma to California is a little long drive to be sharing some stamps or molds. But I finally ended up getting my own because I've been wanting them for a long time, and I always put stuff off because uh, they're costly. But they're really not because you'll have them forever, and you can do so many things with them. I gotta make sure I really like something before I get it, because I don't want it to set. And then these have been setting, so I decided I need to use them. Gotta get down in the crevices. some right in there. It needs some. I'm 
on the sides, on the top. Definitely want to get that. Hope I'm not boring y'all. Okay, I think I got everything. Right in there. Right there. Okay, now I'm going to wipe it back. I want to go down in those crevices in that. Lit really good. Because that's where the detail's at. Wipe it back a little more right in the middle. Now I got my details. I'm gonna go the other way. There, like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. That's cute. Turned out really, really cute. Now for the cow. I think what I'll do is go over this real well so you don't have to watch me and then when I wipe it back, I'll come back. All right, I have it coated and I'm ready to wipe it back. All right, I think that is probably just enough. I'm gonna let those dry up. And when my muslin gets finished drying, I'm gonna go put it together and see how I'm gonna do the frames. Cause it, right now they're just the plain uh, drop cloth color. But I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna distress them. Okay, I am trying to figure out which one of these waxes I want to use. I have this special dark men wax. It's a finishing wax, but I don't think it goes on. This is a finishing wax in brown also by Jolie, but I think it, it's a little creamier. It goes on a little darker, but... This is the Min Wax, and it doesn't do a lot. Try a little bit of this. It does more, and it may not be what I want, because I may not be able to wipe it back good. But I think I'm gonna, if I, since I've done this, I'll have to. I think I'm gonna go all over it with this Because I think this is going to go on way too dark if I... Let me do one of the sides. Okay, let me see. What I think I'm going to do is go over it with this and then go back over it with this one. Because this one goes a little darker than that one. And I don't want it real dark. And I have uh, went around and 
sanded the distressed the edges on this. Not a lot, but some. So I'm just gonna do this real fast. Can't make up my mind. Maybe if I didn't wipe it back so much, it would be fine to use this. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's got, it's putting some distress on it, but not too much. I think I'm just going to use this. Okay, I'm going to go down in the crevices. They're not left bright white or whiter. Down right here is where I hit it with the other. Kind of might want to wipe that back some. Yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, I like the Minwax Special Dark don't get too dark so now I'm gonna finish sanding my other two frames on the edges and go over them with the special dark okay now I haven't done the frames but I was just looking at these I don't know this is the plain muslin and this is y'all seeing that <clears throat> the coffee dyed I'm not sure since this is dark that I should use the dark. I'm not sure. What do y'all think? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on and finish the frames, but I'm gonna have to do some, make up my mind one way or the other. Oh boy. I'm thinking I like the light background, but then that makes, maybe I could go a little darker on the frame, put the darker brown on it. Now, well, I'm going to have to make up my mind sometime because I got to get these finished. All right, I figured out what I was going to do. This is the side that I said was too dark and blended with the animals. Well, I flipped it over, and there I have some distressing and some dark, and I like that. So, on all of them, I'm using the back side, and I'm ready to glue them down. Got to make sure I'm going to glue this where I want it, because I should have cut my material bigger, and I am not redoing this. Okay, that. Let's take that off. Needs to be turned like that and make sure it's going under everything. Maybe up just right there. Okay. I'm going to start gluing that from the front side and then I'll remove it because I don't want to mess up where I have it. Oh, I just... Mm. Right there. That'll catch it all. Okay, now maybe I can remove the deal without messing up. I wouldn't count on it. Okay. Now I'm going to glue it all down. Make 
sure I get to the sides. And that should work. That should have it. I'll put that back in my frame. Make sure I didn't get... I see that part needs to be glued down there. Piece right here. frame. Make sure that's there right. Well, I guess I can go ahead and hook it. I'm done with the material. Now my cow. That other side was just too dark. It was darker even than this. And this now I have a mixture. I am glad I figured that. I mean, just happened to turn that over and like, oh, would that work? Because it did. All right, very carefully. Oh, my leg's coming off that I glued. Well, it doesn't matter now, because it's down. I must have hit it. I forgot, and I wasn't being careful. All right. Now, I'll do the rest of them, and I'll come back. I want to let them dry a little bit, though before I try to set them up and show them. I'll do the others and then I'll come back and show you how they all look.